Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday morning, April 24th, another edition of Kawagama TV. And I wanted to give you this shot because this is a northward facing slope. And this area is in the shade most of the day. It's not currently early in the morning, but as the sun moves across, this area is in the shade. And there's over a foot of snow here. You know, you fall in, it's frozen right now, about minus six, and that's what it was overnight. It actually made ice. Anything that was open has a thin layer of ice on it. But this is what you're facing if you're thinking about coming up to the cottage this weekend. We'd love to see you. However, if you've got to travel seasonal roads that haven't been plowed, in the shade, anywhere that's protected by a slope like this, where the sun can't get at it, there's still a foot or more of snow. So you need to keep that in mind. You need to check with somebody who may have tried. We heard some folks use part of Bear Lake Road yesterday. They got back into their cottage, but they're not going to, they're planning now not to leave for a week until it dries out. It was so bad. So that's kind of the update on that. Now I'm going to move this video and show you what the ice looks like this morning because that's the biggest concern that most of our viewers have is when can they get their boat? When will their boat be in the water? When can they get to their water access cottage? So let's go have a look at the ice. Well, hi everybody. So here we are. Here's the bay in front of the marina and you can see what the ice looks like this morning. Again, it's April 24th. As I mentioned earlier, minus six overnight and that's cold enough to actually put a layer of ice on everything again. So what you can see behind me look like shiny spots or gray spots. It's actually water sitting on top of the ice and when we go and test those, they're still some places 12 inches deep. In fact, we heard from a contractor yesterday who's working out on Macomb Point doing some dock work and he tells us that around where they're working there's 18 to 24 inches of ice still. So I know that's discouraging news for those of you who are water access cottagers and are itching to get back. You know, two years ago we had been launching boats for a month by this time. So very, very different and it's frustrating because we don't know. I can't sit here and tell you today when the ice is going out. But here's what I will tell you again. All of the people who have requested their boats between now and the May long weekend, which is actually the 16th, 17th of May, um, we've got you on a special email list. We're gonna keep you posted as to what's happening. And as the ice continues to hang around and the launch times get shorter, we will focus on water access boats first because those folks need their boats to get to the cottage for the long weekend. And then we'll do as many of the road access requests as we can before the long weekend. And I hope that everybody understands that. You know, with the ice in this lake, the water's gonna be so cold, there's not gonna be much going on in the water on the May long weekend. So that's the update. As you can see, we're locked in. The whole lake's locked in. Lake of Bays is locked in. We're starting to see some opening around rivers and streams where the water's moving, so that's encouraging. But anyways, spectacular day up here at uh, Kawagama Lake. And thanks for watching. Kawagama TV brought to you by Mountain Trout House Marina.